Like people can feel when you walk in a room and you're and you're 100% okay with whatever happens happens, and you know you're going to be all right. Um, and that sounds like it's just <laughs> aggressive on the physical side, um, but it's not just that. Like when you walk into a room and you got a boardroom and you got 12 people sitting there and you've got this, this air about you, this confidence of you, like you can handle uh, yourself. Um, that's powerful. That's powerful. Anyone that's having that question within their own life, like, am I coming across as arrogant or am I coming across as confident really needs to boil that down to does this person that I'm sitting across from right now, does this person that's listening to my, me right now, does this person that I'm interacting with, do they know my intent or not? And if they don't, why? And if they don't, how can I get that across to them? How can I convey to them what the intent what my intent is in the level of confidence that I have in what I'm doing right now. Confidence versus arrogance, the answer is intent. What's the intent? I'm extremely confident. But the last thing, the, the, the last thing I want to do is that I want to do is come across as arrogant. And I think that has to do with being um, self-aware. You know, self-awareness isn't just about figuring out what your strengths and weaknesses are. Self-awareness has to do with figuring out how other people are uh, receiving and perceiving you at all times. It's weaving in that, it's that intent, it's that the heart behind those things that weaved into that conversation will turn that person from perceiving you as arrogant to just, oh, this is just a confident person because man, they know what they're talking about and man, they're passionate about this thing. And it flips the script. And so I would challenge you guys to audit your conversations audit the interactions that you're having with other people and truly take audit of how are they being, how, how am I being perceived? The tell of a person living with intent is passion. Mm. Yeah. And when someone, when you can feel the passion coming from, from somebody, when you can hear the passion in their voice, you can, like it's, it's tangible. And to me, the only way to be and to show that type of passion it's for someone to have intent. Yeah. And so that's probably the quickest tell, I think, for me. Um, you know, some of the, the, just the quick things that come to my mind, like when I see someone that's like always moving fast, <laughs> like, <laughs> like wherever they're going, like they're just like, they're on a mission. Like they're like, I, I have to get somewhere because I have to do something because I have intent behind what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm sure there's examples, but I can't really think of many of someone that lived a life like that that didn't have intent. But in order to do anything great, in order to embark on anything that's gonna be difficult, in order to embrace or seek discomfort, you will have to first build your self-confidence to the point at which you are willing to have the courage to leap.